guys, today we're going to work on the volley. So I have a ball machine that's going to hit some balls to us. And we're going to use that uh, as maybe a better visual for you. Uh, before we go into that though, what I'm going to want to mention is um, when I had a player, uh, a friend of mine actually taught, yeah, a friend of mine um, went to a pro and they, uh, for an example, to help this lady with the volleys, he threw two balls at her to catch. And the idea was she caught one with one hand further than the other. And that's the idea of how to hit a volley. So before I even start, I thought that was a really good representation of how your hand should be. So in your perspective, I'm here, one hand is always going to be more in front than the other. Okay. So when I'm hitting a backhand volley, you can see that the, the front hand is going to be more in front than the other, but my bat, my forehand, you can see that this, now my left hand is more in front than the other. But that's just a, a side note. I thought that was really good visual of hitting these volleys, okay? okay? Next thing though, is I'd like to talk about how we pivot when we hit, okay? So the reason why we pivot is to create a strong foundation and also I can open up my racket or close it. So I can hit it open, I can hit it closed, I can do whatever I want with it. If I'm here in front like this, really hard to do anything with the ball. And I see that a lot with um, recreational players. So we always want to get to the side of the ball and that's where we have to bring our wrist back. That's why I call pivot. We pivot our wrist. It gives a really strong foundation to give it a good push back towards the net or towards your opponent. Okay, so that's the first thing you're going to see that on the volleys is you're always going to pivot here. See, I'm not bringing my wrist, I'm just bringing my wrist back. I'm not bringing my arm back. So I'm here, I'm here, and then I can push forward if I want. Same thing over on this side. I'm here and I pivot, and the ball's coming, and then I'm there. Okay, so that's one thing I would really work on is pivoting. And on a ball machine, it's kind of a little different because it's not as fast, but I would recommend doing it on a wall. So you can practice pivoting back and forth so that you can get a strong foundation of hitting that ball on the side here, right? Next thing is with your grip, you want to be down the middle, right? But the also thing is that also allows you to create spin because a lot of players like to chop at the ball. We don't want to chop at the ball to create spin because it's really hard to time. I know a ball machine, you can really feel like you're getting it, but I'm telling you in a match, that's not going to work. So how do we create spin without moving our racket down, right? Well, that's why we have to lay our wrist back and also our strings back. So when the ball hits the strings, it's going to roll off the strings this way and it's going to create that side, that back spin naturally. So it's going to go this way and I push forward, it's going to have the back spin of coming at it. So notice my racket is angled here, not straight ahead. If it's straight ahead, there's no spin on the ball. That ball had zero spin, okay? So we want to be able to lay our wrist back and then the strings open a little bit and then we can push forward. I always like to call it a, like a jolt. So when I'm going to volley the ball, I'm going to push a little forward at the end, just a little jolt there. If I just let the racket hit and I go like this, it's not going to really go very far. It's not going to stay low. We want the ball to stay low on the volley. So we got to push through the ball. So when the ball is coming, and I'm trying to keep it low, I want to create spin. So I'm going to hit this ball here, and I'm going to push through forward, and if my racket is open, it's going to have that natural back swing or back spin to give that ball that low slice feel. So I can go through the ball and keep down on it, right? So I'm going to give you a different angle, and hopefully that will help um, like get a feel for what to practice on the ball machine, okay? So let's give it a shot. All right, here's your angle. Let's see if this helps. So hopefully that helps your volley and kind of a few things to practice on when you're volleying. Uh, good luck and have fun.